What's up? Welcome back to another episode of Roll Through Fear. How are your front side stalls feeling? Are you having trouble with them? Are they scary? I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I don't ever front side stall anymore. I'm always just turning around. That's what feels right for me and I just back side stall all the time. So as I go over how to front side stall, it's bringing me back to first learning them. And um, I wanna piece it together with you a bit differently than how I learned if you're having trouble. So let's get right to it. Well, okay, there's two things. You can roll back in fakey, or you can do another little 180 and turn around back into the ramp. I find that doing the little 180 back into the ramp is a lot scarier than rolling in backwards. And it might be different for you, it might be the same for you, but if you are for the first time learning your stalls, I have confidence on your side that you're pumping regularly and you're doing it fakey and that feels normal for you. So I feel that a front side stall back into rolling in fakey isn't going to be that difficult. I think it's gonna be the most normal thing that we're gonna try. It's the stall turn back in 180 that's a bit scarier. So let's go over the front side stall, roll back in fakey. Remember those staggered feet, bent knees, and our body is forwards. Okay. So again, stomp, roll back in. Let's pretend this is our longest mini ramp ever. And if you need to, go back to pumping a little bit. Always, 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 for the sake of patience, start with something that you know how to do. So warm it up. But right now, we're on our front side stalls and we're rolling in backwards. Feet staggered body forwards. The front side stall, 180 back in, so coming back in the ramp forwards, I want us to practice going up and just doing the tightest little turn back in. So we're not even worried about getting our frame onto coping. We're gonna go right below coping. This is our make-believe quarter pipe, and this is our make-believe coping. This is our lip and we're just using our imagination because by the time we get to the mini ramp with a little bit of transition, we're going to pretend that we're on here and we're going to land at first tee. <laughs> yeah, baby. But for now, we're going to take the front side stall into simplest form and that's why we're practicing on the bank. We're not going to hit coping. We're not going to hit the top of it. We're going to turn around as tightly as we can right below it. Ah, that was so tight. That's what we like. We're gonna do it again on the side. Almost like we're pumping the mini ramp. Coming back in with everything in front of us. We do this on repeat, baby. Don't stop doing this. We are plugging it in to our muscles and to our brain. Muscle memory right now. I want you to turn tightly right underneath our imaginary coping because once you stick the front side stall is when that tight turn is gonna come back around and you're gonna go back inside. So if you're already familiar with that feeling, I think it's time to actually stall it. So we're gonna get a little bit of speed, perch, same movement. Same movement. Bend those knees a little more if you need to.
Okay, so we did the fakie out of the front side stall and we did the 180 back into the front side stall on our imaginary quarter pipe. Now we're gonna take it to the next few levels in our area just to embed the feeling. Mess around with it. Come out fakey. Forwards. Fakey, stagger those feet. Look behind you, stick your arm out behind you as you're skating fakey for more balance. So I've hit the biggest banks in my area. Let's take it to the smallest quarter pipe. Here we are. This is a good size quarter pipe, probably a four foot. But for now, we're going to do exactly what we did on the bank and take it to the transition. Keep in mind, the only thing that you have to keep in mind, a little different, bend your knees a little bit more. Because this transition is going to pop you out with more speed. So you want to be stabilized and how you stabilize, bend those knees. That's why all of this is a great workout. You're doing little baby squats and having so much fun. Okay, front side stall, fakie. One more time. Front side stall, fakie. This is much easier for me with my freestyle frames and my two wheels because I'm actually sticking. I wasn't sticking on my imaginary coping on the bank. We're gonna take the front side stall just like we did on the bank because it's our first time on the transition and we're gonna do another really tight turn right below coping. Go up, turn down. This is at your own pace. You're feeling it out. Just like we did when we were babies and we, we took our first steps. We don't remember, but I'm sure we struggled with it for a long time. I think those were really tight. I'm going to send the front side stall and come back in 180. Bend your knees body forwards. Here we go. That feels good. Here we are. Confidence. Come back in. Sick. Now we're going to take it to the mini ramp. And this mini ramp is our bull. But we got the two quarter pipes and they're stuck together and it makes our beautiful mini. But it's a bit steeper and it's a bit higher. And that's how we roll. That's how we learn from smallest to tallest ramps, so let's take it over here. Whew. Here we are. We're gonna do the exact same thing as we did on the bank. I'm always gonna take it down to simplest form for us. So I'm gonna drop in and I'm gonna do those tight turns right under coping. Also, when you're doing repetitive lines or pumping and you get dizzy or you're confused about your form all of a sudden, stop skating and give yourself a little break. Give your legs a break. I always know that if they're tired, I'm just more prone to falling. So keep that in mind. <laughs> okay, again, we're gonna go small, sharp turns right below the coping. I'm almost airing. But we're just getting the movement of when we actually stomp the stall, we're gonna turn around back into a 180. This is a tight little mini. Visualize yourself on the bank. Visualize yourself on the smaller quarter pipe and drop in. <laughs> I promise that's scarier than a backside. 
for me anyways. I'm going to do a few front side stalls, fakie in, and a few front side stalls, 180 in. All right, here we go. I'm gonna do some front side stalls into fakie. Remember, if you need to work your way up from the bottom, start clipping your frames, your wheels. You're up there. Give it a little bit more strength. Keep your knees bent, your body forwards. Here we go. Front side, 180 in. That's about it. Gotta love that humidity southern humidity. I actually do all of a sudden. I started rollerblading in Georgia. I went to high school, elementary school through high school in Georgia. And after I moved away from Georgia and to Long Beach, California, I would say I hate Georgia. I hate the humidity. But now, as I'm Lifting my higher self every day, I love it. I love to sweat. I love what it feels like to be human, to just pour out of these pores. It feels healthy. <laughs> Anyways, thank you again for sharing your time with me. I'm so grateful to be figuring this out with you. On my side, being a professional rollerblader, you don't think about what you're doing anymore. <laughs> it really is, it's like walking or sprinting down the street. So this is a challenge on my side to pick every trick apart for you and for me. So I just want, I wanna let you know how grateful I am for teaching myself. I'm on the other side, I hope that you're progressing. Okay, cool. I love you, I love you as a sister and I'm here with you, think about me in your skate park for motivation. My process was super slow and it still is and that's how I live my life. Not rushing, observing, being grateful and being here right now in this moment, in the present moment. Have a great day, I'll see you guys next time.